There is so much stuff in this box, I can't even get it all on the camera. About a week or so ago, I got a, an email from an old friend of the channel, George in Oregon, who wanted one of my uh, supercomputer boards. No problem. George's been with me since the beginning. I'm happy to send him one. And then he says, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to send you some LEDs and stuff. Uh, and stuff. There's so much stuff in here. Thank you, George. This is incredibly kind of you. So I thought today that we could uh, take a look at what's in the box from Oregon. From George. Alright, so we're going to empty this stuff a box from George, see what's in it, what's cool. But before we do that, I just got these giant 10 millimeter LEDs in today. And I just want to take a look at them real quick. Don't really give us much information. Damn fingers. All right, so these are comically big, which is what I wanted. So I got this set at uh, 3 volts, 30 milliamps. So. That's cool. They're nice and diffused. Oh, that green's really bright. But still very diffused i like that these are from a company called geek fun which i'm sure you probably heard it's interesting see i get brighter when i plug it in then immediately go dimmer watch let's try this yeah there's a there is a definite dimming effect interesting Seems to only affect the blue. I think I paid like nine bucks for these. I'll definitely put a link down below. Weird. Okay, cool. So what's in the box? I already had this one out. Because I wanted to see if they were connected together. This is a hundred WS W WS eight two twenty WS two twenty eight Bs the uh, addressable LEDs and they are not connected together, which is probably why George sent them my way. He looked at that and said, "No, I'm not soldering all that. I will. I have a couple ideas for some fun projects with them. So that's very cool." Next up, what do we got? Some sort of Bluetooth stereo transmitter. Interesting. Input power. Okay, so that's the charging. It's not input, signal input. I wondered why I had an extra cable. All right, so this basically takes anything with a uh, TRRS 8th inch jack and makes it into a Bluetooth transmitter. Cool. So we got some switches. Single pole, single throw. Little panel mount type. Very nice. Color white. Three to three must be LEDs. Oh, 
Okay. Now, I have never seen an LED like that before. That's interesting. Can it fit in a breadboard? Hmm. Kind of, so oh, kind of, sort of, but not really. Let's see if we can figure this out. Okay, once again, I've got the power supply doing current limiting. If you take a look there. The large side is, of course, the anode. Small side is the cathode. And that is just like a pinprick of light. Very interesting. George, comment down below what these are for. Some more of the same. Five millimeter straw hats. Those are always nice. Might get the package open. Yeah, I like straw hat LEDs. They have a different kind of profile than your standard dome top LEDs. Very nice. Next up, look, battery terminals, those would be useful. It's more of those square white LEDs. Sorry, I had to pause the video there for a second. My crazy neighbor is out there yelling at her cat. Oh, this would be a little GPS module. More of those square LEDs. George, you bought a lot of them. Ah, oh, little USB uh, USB mini jacks. Very nice. Dual row 90 degree header pins. Nice. What's we got here? Some little module. It says GY68 on it. I don't know what that is. Aha. You want to focus? That is a BMP 180. Little environmental sensor from Bosch. Next up we have a dun dun dun. A Nexaton display. I played with these once. I was not a huge fan of them. But I'll give them another try. The way these work, you can use them like with Arduino or Raspberry Pi. And you program the display separately. And then you, all you have to do is send data to it. Another one? Yep. Two next. Wow, George, why did you send me all this expensive stuff? Next up, 5 inch HDMI display. Like these are the absolute go to for doing uh, Raspberry Pi stuff. Super easy to use. Very nice. Oh, I see ICs. Ho oh, ho! 555 five, five timers. Mm. Just my absolute favorite in the whole world. More of those square LEDs. Ah, 
uh, 2.1 millimeter barrel jacks. You know what? That's useful. I don't really have a lot of these. And, um, yeah, that's a different shape than I'm than I've used. That might be good. Okay, I saved for last what I consider to be the coolest thing in here, which are these 50 watt Cobb LED panels. And if you take a look, they say AC 110 volts, which means they got built in rectifiers and everything. Well, well, well. What can we do about that? I know exactly what we can do about it. <laughs> Let's wire one up and find out. I'll tell you one thing though. They've got these aluminum heat sinks on here. And when you come over here to the live side, it really really sucks up the heat like crazy man so this is not going to be a quick and easy tack job. I'm gonna to have to seriously apply some heat for that I've turned my iron up to 400 degrees all right that's on there hold it there for a few seconds basically you gotta do the same with the other side. Come on. Okay. So we got that tacked in there and then I've got the uh, clamp meter here this is a Zotec ZTQB4 nice little clamp meter that's the neutral sign Let's put that on the line and let's hope we don't electro boom ourselves to death right here we go. Holy smokes, that's freaking bright. That's going to burn out the damn camera if I don't get something over it. And the heat is insane. I'm not going to leave this on for long. It is uh, 450 milliamps. Wow. 450 milliamps. Oh, and, and that's too hot to touch in just a, a couple seconds that that was on holy smokes that is some serious light and that is going to require some serious cooling but that's pretty cool so i want to thank george from oregon for sending this stuff george thank you so much my friend you've been with the channel since the beginning and i appreciate you and i appreciate everybody who watches the channel and makes comments and everything else we're a community here. Thanks for being part of it. I really appreciate it. So if you enjoyed this, I hope you'll give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe. Big thanks to all the patrons. And again, big thanks to George. That's it. I'm out. Peace.